Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, well, we uh, of course had a lot of people talk about Windows 11 lately, but what about Windows 10? And especially a lot of people are doubting that Windows 10 would have a 22H2. Uh, we know for a fact that Windows 10 will have 22H2, that is, there's no doubt in that, but um, now we have confirmation in one of the latest optional updates for Windows 10 that will be rolling out, there is a way to actually activate 22H2 in there. So uh, somebody did, and of course it showed up with the panel when you look at Windows version as of version 22H2, 19045.1806. So this is living proof that 22H2 is a thing and uh, it already can be activated for those that want to force it when the next uh, optional update is going to be available. Now, what does it bring to Windows 10? From what we see, absolutely nothing front-facing. We don't have any new features. That's why they've been probably very quiet. There's kind of really nothing new in it. It's just they're pushing that version to 22H2 to continue support and of course that's the way it's going to be until the end of windows 10 in 2025 so we'll have this fall 22h2 at some point and then we'll have 23h2 next year and so on and it's going to continue that uh, support that 18 month support that windows 10 has been having all the time so confirmation that it's official 22h2 is a thing now it'll be available somewhere this fall um, I would guess as uh, now it's started to show up and uh, can even be turned on uh, through some uh, registry hack if you uh, want to have 22H2, but there's no real reason to do so as there's really nothing front facing or nothing new apart from the build number that's changed. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.